welcome to our video series, Taking Control of Your Child's Diabetes. My name is Lisette. If your child is diagnosed with diabetes, you may have questions about school and sick days. After all, your child spends a good portion of his or her day at school. It is important to let the school know your child has diabetes. The teacher, principal, and school nurse should all be aware. If your child rides a school bus, the bus driver should know as well. Letting close friends know is also a good idea that can serve as a support for your child. Many schools require a Diabetes Medical Management Plan, or a DMMP, to be filled out. The plan lets the school know what needs to happen while your child is at school in order to manage his or her diabetes. The plan consists of the insulin regimen, the blood sugar goals, when and how often to test the blood sugar, low blood sugar treatment and follow-up, and high blood sugar treatment and follow-up. You must also provide the school with contact information for the endocrinology office and an emergency contact information for your family. In addition to the DMMP, some schools require that you leave extra diabetes supplies at the school. We recommend that you put together a diabetes kit for your child's backpack. Your diabetes kit should consist of insulin and extra insulin, whether that be pen needles and a pen, or syringe and a vial. You should also have the glucometer with the lancet, lancet needles, and test strips. Be sure to include gauze and alcohol swabs for the blood sugar tests. In addition, you should have glucose tablets and a juice box readily available to treat low blood sugars. Lastly, your child should also have keto sticks in case of high blood sugars at school. Now let's talk about sick days. People with diabetes get sick just like anyone else. Infections, surgeries, and injuries can cause the body to feel extra stress. This added stress can cause the blood sugar to rise to high levels without warning. Extra care is needed to control the blood sugars during this time in order to prevent diabetic ketoacidosis, a medical emergency. During sick days, make sure to check your child's blood sugar every two to four hours. Also, check your child's urine for ketones each time your child urinates. Never omit insulin. Administer supplemental insulin if needed to control high blood sugars. Have your child drink plenty of fluids to stay hydrated and monitor for signs and symptoms that would require immediate attention. These signs and symptoms would require immediate attention. Number one, if your child has vomited more than three times and cannot keep anything in their stomach. Number two, if your child has moderate to large ketones present in their urine. Number three, if your child has difficulty breathing. Number four, if your child's blood sugar cannot be maintained above 70 and if your child is not eating or drinking enough. If your child has these symptoms, call the doctor or go to the nearest emergency room. Here's a quick tip. If you need an over-the-counter drug to control symptoms such as cough and nasal congestion, ask your doctor or pharmacist for a list of sugar-free products that are available. When your child is sick, we recommend the following foods broth type soups, sugar-free or sweetened gelatin, depending on the blood sugar, regular or diet soda, depending on the blood sugar, popsicles, regular or diet, depending on the blood sugar, sports drinks, juices, graham crackers, saltine crackers, banana or other fruits, instant mashed potatoes, instant pudding mixes, bread or toast or applesauce. Use sugar-free fluids if glucose is 150 or higher. Do not forget to have your child drink plenty of liquids. To prevent loss of body fluids, also known as dehydration, drink at least four to six ounces of water or sugar-free liquids every hour. Examples are sugar-free soda, ice chips, water, sugar-free ginger ale or club soda, 
Your child should take small sips of the fluids if nauseous. If your child cannot eat your normal diet or soft foods and the glucose is below 150, sip on liquids which contain sugar. Examples are regular Sprite, regular ginger ale, tea with honey, or a sports drink. Sipping liquids that have sugar prevents the glucose from going too low. These fluids will also provide extra calories and energy that your child needs to get over their illness. Now you know about school days and sick days. Remember, we are here for you and your child and to support you if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact your diabetes team. Please continue watching this video series to learn more. Thank you for being an active member of your child's diabetes team.